What's up to all my Geminis? How y'all doing? So, okay, so, all right. So you uh, Geminis have the strength, three of cups, page of pentacles, eight of swords, the knight of swords, king of wands, six of wands, four of cups, the devil and the tower. So what I'm seeing here for uh, you Geminis, right? Is um, strength, three of cups, page of uh, pentacles. So the strength card is really about like uh, not allowing your own strength to be used against you. Um, as well as allowing someone else's own strength to be used against them. So the three of cups, right, represents some form of disrespect that somebody tried to show you because some of you Geminis may have been getting cheated on and they may be lying to your face, bold face, you know, with the idea that they're never gonna get caught. And unless you, um, catch them red-handed <clears throat> then they're really never going to get caught um obviously that's very dysfunctional the page of pentacles right speaks to how you know they 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 think that you gemini's wouldn't leave them <laughs> the page of pentacles they think in in this reading they think that you gemini's are not going to leave them they think that they're offering so much to the point where you Geminis would be just not there to really leave because they couldn't believe it. They're bringing, they're just bringing so much to the table <laughs> that you Geminis just can't stand to, you know, you Geminis just can't stand to walk away. So the situation is, is that, um, That may be the case, but at least they think that because it's not really true. The Eight of Swords, right, and the Knight of Swords is really about you, Gemini, setting the record correct with these people and letting them know that all of that disrespect that they have for you, it was completely uh, unjustified, unjustifiable, meaning that they can't do it. And it was unjustified because it's past tense. Because a lot of you Geminis obviously are not going to hang out with these people anymore. The Eight of Swords is, is is you having a candid conversation with them, trying to figure it out. Like, why? Why on earth did, did they have to cheat on you? They don't even know how much heartbreak a lot of you Geminis may, had, may have had. Hold on. They don't understand a lot of you heartbreaks that a lot of you Geminis may have had to go through in the first place. And because of this, this is something that they don't seem to understand how difficult it was, right? Because a lot of you Geminis go through a lot of stuff, but at the same time, a lot of you Geminis are like, well, you Geminis, I mean, you Geminis had to go through so much stuff to get here, and then it still turned out not to be true. So. A lot of you Geminis are like, well, well, do you even understand how difficult things were to get here? And the Knight of Swords is, is that this person, this person is like, you know, should I care? <laughs> should I care? The King of Swords is you cutting them off. You, you're letting them go because the truth is, is that they should care because, you know, Mercury, you know, Mercury, Zodiac signs, Gemini and Virgo. A lot of times people don't really understand the, 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 the discomfort of what it means to be a Virgo, what it means to be a Gemini, right? Because people really don't. They, they, they really don't. Because the truth is, is that Mercury wants love like mercury whether it's gemini or virgo they want love too 
and the downright solipsistic delusional mentality that a lot of people have of you know they they treat the gemini's that they do they treat the virgos that they do but they don't really ever ask themselves why are they going so hard to at this person what did like why are, why are they going out of their way to treat this person like an underclass so much more <laughs> than they would somebody especially specifically a person who is disrespectful to them why do they do that with the with the gemini's or with the virgos but they don't do that with other people who disrespect them who tell them that they're trash who may treat them like they're trash and yet gemini's and like a lot of people don't understand how how difficult it was to for gemini's and for virgos to get to a point where they're in a relationship and it's functional only to have that ripped away from you because somebody was cheating somebody <laughs> you know what i mean the, there goes that ego again you know somebody somebody <laughs> somebody thinks that they're too good the ego is at it again you know the 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 cognitive dissonance the lack of common sense that the person has that everybody is replaceable and they're so much special they're so much more special than the average joe you know but but now all of a sudden they're so much more special than the average joe when it comes to you gemini's but <laughs> they were but according to them they're catching all these problems and all these difficulties when it comes to the person that they used to hang out with they they used to get to know and the king of swords is a lot of you gemini's are just freeing yourselves up from from that a lot of you gemini's are just like look some things have got to change so i'm saying i'm so i'm seeing how a lot of you gemini's have changed the mentality six of wands you know things are changing for you gemini's where it's like the mentality is really changing where a lot of you Gemini's really understand that ultimately if these people didn't want to be in a relationship with you long term, they could have said that or they didn't have to be in a relation. They could have said that or excuse me, they didn't have to be in a relationship with you at all. You know, you Gemini's could have worked something out. Maybe you could, you know, maybe they could have told you directly what it was. Look, I'm playing the field. I got this going on and I'm not doing this as a means of telling you that I don't like you. No, I do like you. It's just that I want to make sure that you, you know what you're stepping into so that you Gemini's don't end up being like, wow, you could have told me something. So the thing is that, because see, that's another thing too. A lot of people don't take into consideration that the that difficulty is what makes virgo and gemini so ruthless and so cold it's the idea of everybody gets fair treatment everybody gets fair treatment now all of a sudden when it comes to gemini and virgo now all of a sudden i don't know what it is but people now all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, you know, we're not necessarily going to treat you like this. Now the Gemini has to has to overperform. The Gemini has to. I'm talking about the Geminis who are in their correct mind. I'm not saying for every last Gemini, because you do have some Geminis who can bug out. But for the Geminis who have who are ethical and ain't running around, you know, being greasy or dysfunctional themselves, now all of a sudden the gemini has to show you just how upstanding they can be that much more because other people just just trying so hard going out of their way to push the gemini into a section where oh put the gemini's off to the side i i just i just can't understand it <laughs> i can't understand it so the thing about it is that the devil is well, okay so the four of cups is a lot of you Gemini's may be thinking about this. A lot of you Gemini's may be like, look, I tried, you know, really may be, you know, really may be thinking about it. Like you tried, you tried so much, you tried so many times in your life 
to really be in one relate one relationship with somebody and potentially still be there with that person but so many people their insecurities their ego is a big big problem they 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 have to get you before you get them and they're way off so the thing is that the the devil is some some you're you're allowing this you're you're allowing it to flow through you a lot of you gemini's are allowing the 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 dysfunction a lot of you gemini's are having time to think about the dysfunction and reflect on it and think about what that means the tower and you're allowing you gemini's are setting yourselves free because you are letting go of the relationship so the process of grieving over a relationship is being disappointed and and letting that letting your heart feel what it is but don't seek revenge for it but learning how to let go of <clears throat> excuse me the circumstances because remember air is the element of freedom and free from what free from the dysfunctions of the world free from the dysfunctions free from the burdens of the world and one of the things that is burdening the world right now is you got too you you really have too many dysfunctional people who really have not learned really have not learned to grow up really dysfunctional really caught up in too much propaganda really too too caught up with too many dysfunctional things too much slogans and dysfunctionalities really out here trying this stuff out from the virtual world and social media and all of that stuff really stepping out towards people really with this with this with this fear factor and really trying to approach people and interact with people from this perspective and a lot of you gemini should really be above that because it ultimately it's really not cute at the end of the day it's really dysfunctional you know <laughs> so the let's let's clarify the four of cups i'm i'm over here really letting it fly tonight let's clarify the four of cups the king of swords page of cups <laughs> two of cups knight of pentacles to clarify the four of cups king of swords <laughs> not understanding acting like you don't understand why you and this person could not work out acting like it page of cups but then when you sit back and you think about it the signs were there of as at how dysfunctional this person was again you got to understand that some a lot of these people out here just before they cheat they can't even tell the significant other from the jump that this is what it is they can't even say that you know as a person myself who's been in those types of situations where i i i do have the heart to tell my significant other i'm talking to other people so i'm just letting you know that right now before we even get into anything I'm talking to other people and them being okay with it you know them being okay with it for a time uh honesty is the best policy it really is because there's a lane open for everybody but you gotta you know at the at the end of the day this person has really shown how weak they are because i mean my gosh they didn't even have the guts they really didn't even have the heart to be like look this is what it is and if you don't like it i can understand it they they were so they were so greedy right they were so greedy they had to well if i say this you know what i mean if i say this then i can't that this person may end up saying no they're not really rocking like it this way so what i gotta do is i gotta end up i gotta end up lying to this person to eliminate the potential of them saying no because i really want this person and it goes to show you the lack that they're not as fly as they're trying to make it seem like because if you if you really if you really have that much heart to you, you 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 would be prepared for whatever the other person says. 
whether it's yes or no. So the thing is, is that the Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles is, and a lot of you Geminis know that. You understand that you ha you just have to go try to create this relationship with somebody else because this person is is dealing with their own lack. This person had to lie to you on some on some greed stuff as some sort of like money grab for for a for a lack of what it is that they did not have but tried to make it seem like they had an abundance of <laughs> let's clarify let's clarify the um okay let's clarify the uh the devil which is the queen of pentacles the empress the knight of wands Ten of Wands. So the Queen of the <laughs> Queen of Pentacles is this person being stone faced. This person being like, "Well, I don't really care or whatnot." Ha! You're nothing without me. The Empress. You don't want anything to do with these people because of how egregiously disrespectful and how greedy they are. Well, again, coming from lack, because greed comes from lack. The idea that you don't have enough, so you have to cop and blow you have to grab as much as you possibly can at the time forget about other people because you it may not be there later and the knight of the knight of wands and the ten of wands is is that this is how this person was coming in this person really believes that you're going to be back but the ten of wands is they don't seem to understand that you're done <laughs> you freed yourself up because these people are not who you thought they were at first. You thought that they were upstanding and they're not. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, trying to get this YouTube channel to grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of uh, June, 2023. Please make sure to hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Also, too, if you'd like to contact me for any of my services, the link to my website, the link to my book, which is on Amazon, and the link to my Instagram page are in the comment section below. Peace.